happy good morning <laughs> hey everybody i am just here to do a quick little video about butter garlic grits so you know you get your water in your pan um it's just me so it's not much water here Maybe i should do a little more because sometimes i'll be greedy but it's a little more okay so you know get your get your water boiling i hope everybody's well this sunday morning and welcome back to my channel all you new subscribers welcome and thank you all my ride of dies welcome back yeah i like a lot of butter in my grits and after that i do also when it's done i do put more <laughs> on top so i use the five minute grits which i'm going to get right now mm -hmm. this is the grits that i use even though to me it takes more than five minutes but anyway that's what i use and i i should have had all this stuff i salt my water just a little bit Go in the fridge and this is the crushed garlic that I use it's from um, Aldi and it's the stone mill brand minced garlic and extra virgin olive oil I always use this always use this so we're gonna wait until the water boils up some and I'll catch you back in a few minutes while that's waiting to boil, I drink my prune juice every morning. Every morning I drink prune juice. I drink about that much, which probably is a little a bit over eight ounces, but <laughs> that's how much I drink every morning. And I also I'm gonna make my coffee too. Mm. I love prune juice, this is so good. So the water is starting to boil. While that's starting to boil, I am going to make my coffee. Water is starting to boil. Coffee I'm using today. What do I want? Okay, the Snickers coffee dropped out of the cabinet in my hand, so I guess I'm using this one <laughs> in my French press. Of course, water's starting. Water's boiling a little bit. Let it let it roll a little bit. I'm looking in the cabinet for my French press. That's retarded. So this is the last of my, oh, I don't think it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, yeah, this is the last of my um, Snickers coffee. I'm gonna see if I can get some more. Don't know yet. I just eye it. I don't measure anything, y'all. I measure nothing. So that's about how much I put in there. I measure nothing. I'm stirring. Okay. I'm stirring. I don't know if y'all can see that. Should be enough for one person. Make sure I got this going here. Okay. Let it roll for a bit. Then I come in with my garlic. Minced garlic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love garlic. So I put in about 
that much. Can you see? That much. Yeah, that much. And I put it in while it is boiling. And I let that, I let that go for a few minutes. Kind of turn the eye down. It's on, it's on medium right now. I'm gonna turn it a little bit below medium so that it can actually cook without having all the water run out. Mmm. Okay. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Which y'all know y'all gotta stir these grits. I think I put too much grits in, but we'll see. Yeah, I did. Add a little bit more water. This is just how I do my grits, okay? I don't I don't I don't measure nothing. <laughs> okay, the water for my coffee is done, but I'm just gonna let it sit in the in the tea kettle for a little bit longer until I actually until the grits are actually done a little bit more and then I'll make my coffee and let it steep. So I'll be right back. So now I'm back, I'm looking at it and I'm coming to a nice it's a nice little boil on it, nice little roll on it. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Okay. The top back on. I already finished my um I finished my prune juice already. Which I should have drank my water before, but I just I don't know, sometimes I'm a little out of it when it comes to doing things first or whatever. You already know. God. Here's my water bottle. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I'm so out of it right now. Like my anxiety and my PTSD, all of this. I'm drinking some water. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. It is hot. It, I woke up and it was muggy. I'm like, oh my God. I woke up at 7.30. Of course, after I feed Ivy. Ivy, I feed at 5 o'clock in the morning. Then I go back to sleep. She goes back to sleep after she has eaten already. And that's our little life right now. So I'm turning the eye down. The eye. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm turning the flame down on the grits just a little bit more. So they can actually have time to cook without actually having all the water dilute and the grits not be done all the way. So we're doing that. And as you can hear, Ivy is screaming because she thinks she's going to get a snack and she's not. It's only 11 o'clock. She's not going to get a snack until 1. So she's going to scream all she wants. I put Ivy on a diet because she was getting way too fat and when I pick her up she would be super heavy so what I did was I changed her food to Purina one weight management and I cut down on her snacks so in the morning when I would feed her I would feed her her breakfast and then I used to put four little square pieces of um of treat in her little ball that she has to you know work at to get the treats out but now I changed it. Oh, and, and when I was giving her four little pieces in the morning after her breakfast, um, in the evening I would give her two more twice. So she was getting eight snacks a day. Now she only gets two in her little ball in the morning with her breakfast. And she gets two in the evening, you know, spread out, not two at the same time. So, that's that. She's lost a lot of weight. But anyway, that's nothing about my baby. Like I said, I hope everyone is having a wonderful, safe weekend. I hope you have a wonderful, safe 4th of July. Be careful if you're doing fireworks, y'all, please. Okay? Pick somebody's hand or fingers get blown off every year. <laughs> so, please be careful. Okay? And if you have kids, please. I know that you can't really, you can't. You can't watch your kids 24-7, okay? There's going to be some times when your kids are out of your sight and kids are going to do what they want to do sometimes, all right? A lot of people love to blame the parents for the upbringing, but you you forget. Kids have minds of their own. 
You can tell them to you blow in the face, look, this is not right, this is not right. And they will turn around and do something totally different. You all know how that goes. It's not always the parents that's at fault for children or kids or young, young adults or adults doing bad things. They know right from wrong. You know, they, they do. You can't be with your kid 24-7, you know. So, a lot of people throw stones, like, you know, when they're living in a glass house. Everything's going okay with me. Um, I had a problem with Con Ed. Um, if y'all have a problem with Con Ed or any other state or city agency and y'all need justice, go to your borough president. Because I had no idea until Brian told me that go to my borough president and tell him what's going on. They had uh, over $1,000 $1, added to my light bill for a bill that when I broke up with my husband years ago when light bills wasn't was like $40 a month okay I think I left behind because I couldn't pay it I had to leave I left them owing I think $80 and all from then I would say from 2000 let's see we got married in 2004 5 6 7 8 maybe 2000 2008 um, I left them with like an $80 bill or something like that and come up to find me now they are trying to bill me a thousand dollars for that $40 bill for the $80 bill and um, I filed for bankruptcy about three years ago three four years ago I filed for bankrupt no three about three years ago I filed for bankruptcy and they're still trying to make me pay for this. So I went to my borough president and I told her everything that was going on. Lo and behold, within one week, that thousand dollars, that thousand and ten dollars was eliminated from my bill. I was beyond ecstatic. Okay? I hope I'm using that in the right way. I that that blew my mind. That blew my mind. I am so I was so grateful and thankful to them. And the woman that helped me and for Brian to pass that by me like that didn't even go through my head to to contact my borough president to get something done and when I tell you that I've been trying to fight Con Ed about this for almost a year almost one year and I sent them proof of bankruptcy and everything and they still did not take it off of my bill until I got my borough president involved and she handled it like a G Within a week, within a week, that $1,010 was taken off of my bill. Mm. Mm. So good. So these are done. So let me plate it up. I'm still rolling here. I am. And you'll see. I hope y'all can see. Damn, that's not even enough. See? Because <laughs> I usually have eggs with it. But, mm, I don't know. I'm just going to do this today in a cup of coffee. Me, you know that my weakness is butter <laughs> and cheese. Oh, it's my weakness, butter and cheese.
Okay, so we're just going to come over here now. <laughs> Can y'all see? Oh, see, you couldn't see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Black pepper. I got this from Aldi too. This is the first time me getting a a um a black pepper grinder, which I absolutely love. Yeah, I know you gotta have black pepper on your grits. Uh, whatever. Here we go. Look at that. Mmm. That looks so good. Yummy. Okay. Okay. Also, not a fan of Tarani. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm a fan of Skinny Girl. I have a little bit left, and I got to take myself across town to Marshall's to get the Skinny Girl brand. But this is a salted caramel. Because you know Snickers bars have caramel. And the Planet Oat Sweet Cream Oat Milk Creamer. So when that's about to be done, I'm going to come back and show you. Okay, here we go. Let's get a little closer up here. I do measure this out because I know what my taste is. Oh my gosh, almost out. Give it a taste. I'm telling you that Snickers coffee is strong as heck. Okay guys, it's strong. So be prepared if you, you looking for it. Be prepared because it's strong. This is 25 calories per tablespoon. Jeez. You know a coffee is strong when you put your usual amount and it's still dark. So just add a little bit more. Hope you can see. Yeah, it's you 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 can tell. Oh my gosh. Alright. Clean up my mess. Eat my breakfast. I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful 4th of July. You might see me before. I'm not going to put my, don't, don't, don't quote me on it because, you know, my anxiety goes up and down. So, this is my coffee. This is my grits. Breakfast. Have a great day, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's hit 150. Thank you. Bye.